Hi YouTube, I was going to show you my newest uh, purchase. It's an Exacta VX film SLR made in Dresden, East Germany, apparently early 1950s. Picked it up with three lens, with the uh, actually three lenses. The one that's mounted on it, it's a Carl Zeiss Jenna Biotar uh, F2 58mm T mount lens. Pretty good shape. Came with the aluminum lens cap, that's a screw on type lens cap. A P. Ingenu uh, French made lens, F 2.5 35mm lens, seems to be in great shape. Uh, the glass has an interesting coloration to it, I'm sure you can't see it on the video, but it's uh, got a bluish sort of coloration to it. I've never seen that on a camera lens before. It's also in great shape. Um, I've, from what I've been reading on the internet, it might actually have a little bit of value. I'm not entirely sure. And finally, my third lens, which is a 135 millimeter telephoto lens. And this sucker here is a, a German lens. And it's a Steinheil Kulminar F4.5 lens made in Munich and it also seems to be in really good shape. I have fire or I've mounted all three of these lenses on the camera. It's a bayonet style mount and they all seem to focus correctly. There's no there's no fungus on the glass nor is there any kind of uh, bubbling or scratching or distortion. Um, it's an interesting camera to cock the lever Unlike on a modern film SLR, you actually manually cock it on the left hand side as opposed to the right. And the release is mounted on the front of the camera right about, I can see like right there where my finger is. And you push it in as opposed to down. And the, uh, it does fire. The, the um, body's covered in some really stinky leatherette, which, uh, probably could be uh, replaced or cleaned and there's a bit of bubbling on the back and I've been told that that's not all that uncommon on these type of cameras. These are an interesting camera in that in addition to having the pentaprism that we're all used to on modern SLRs, this could be removed using this switch here and you could put a, um, a type of uh, viewfinder where you would look down into it as on some of the older style cameras. Anyway, it's got a top speed of a one thousandth of a second, which is not bad considering this camera is made around 1952. Interesting camera. I always wanted one for my collection, so I feel kind of lucky that I got it and got it for a mere 20 bucks. Anyway, have a good day, folks. Bye-bye.